Jamel Hill is one of those people in the mainstream media, in sports media, who it doesn't matter how many times they fail, how many times that no one watches their product, how many times they drive the audience away, they continue to get work time after time after time. And this failure might go down as her biggest one ever. Toxic brand, Jamel Hill fails at ESPN and CNN. Less than a month after its launch, CNN Plus is being shut down by annoyed network executives. However, failure is not a stranger for one of its stars, Jamel Hill, but one of its ex-stars, because again, it's getting shut down at the end of April. Hundreds of millions of dollars behind CNN Plus, and they can't get more than 10,000 people watching it daily. That's how sad and pathetic it is. And of course, Jamel Hill is at the forefront of all of this. Jamel Hill has been the very personification of failing upward since debuting with ESPN as a columnist in 2006. She quickly began racking up suspensions, her first in 2008 when she tried to insert Hitler in, and races into a column about the Boston Celtics, because of course she did. From that time on, Hill began pushing the envelope every year, and we saw so many opportunities for her at ESPN. It didn't matter if it was the one with her and Michael Smith, it didn't matter if she was doing a little sports center hit, whatever it was, it failed. People despise Jamel Hill because she's not a good sports analyst. All she is is a race baiting piece of shit. That's the bottom line. That's all she does, always. It's always about racism. That's all she has to comment on. It's always about perpetually being a victim or talking about black athletes who are victims, at least in her mind. A constant stream of suspensions came. She was suspended for calling Trump a white supremacist, then suspended again for stoking her growing social justice profile against ESPN's orders. Then ESPN bought out her contract. The truth is, for all her high noise ratio, Hill's ratings on ESPN were always a bust. And in fact, SportsCenter's ratings soared after Hill was ejected from the host seat. After ESPN cut her, she went to the Atlantic, where she, again, she failed and failed and failed. But along the way, Hill became increasingly strident, angry, and vicious. To name a few examples, she alluded to assassination during Trump's State of the Union speech. In 2020, she said all Trump voters were racist. In 2021, she said the national anthem is white supremacist. And then in 2021, she called the NFL racist for blackballing Kaepernick. She was involved with a production with Colin Kaepernick as well, not a surprise. And then this year, she said black women should be encouraged by Will Smith's act of violence during the 2020 Oscars broadcast. All of this culminated when CNN Plus came knocking at her door in February and hired the critical race theory pushing activist to host one of its new shows. But not unlike many other new opportunities, this one was short lived and it hasn't even made it past the first month. And now it's done. Less than three weeks into launch, it was reported executives had shut down all external advertising, and now they're ready to shut it down entirely. Jamel Hill has failed every step of her career. Nobody likes her. No one listens to her except far left-wing lunatics and activists. She is a race baiter, and she's a vile, evil piece of shit. So you get what you deserve. For someone that has failed everywhere they've been, just like Bomani Jones. Bomani Jones has failed every step along the way. On radio, on TV, his multiple shows that he's had. So of course then HBO Max hires him and his show fails there. Just like Jamel Hill's show failed at CNN Plus. Just like anywhere she goes, it will fail. But she continues to get hired in the woke mainstream media. I will have no doubts we'll see her back on the sports scene as well because that's how stupid these people are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.